Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Zeus the Giant Schnauzer behind me. My name is Kashmir. Uh, today is our first day with in-store training. I have no idea how this is going to go, but this will be a great time to assess him and see how he is. So as you can see behind him, he has his in-training vest on and on the other side it says, um, I think it's the do not disturb us. Mm service dog in training little tag on there uh, I also have my fancy new Kong leash that I got it's the wrap around um, the body and I like this one because it also has a handle which you will watch me use this in my video as we enter into the store so <laughs> yes you're welcome Zeus so I'm gonna take this slow. This He hasn't been in a store before. He hasn't been around uh, automatic doors that open and close as well. So I'm going to start outside. It wasn't supposed to rain and now it is. It's sprinkling a little bit. So hopefully I don't get wet. Zeus has, because uh, he's got a double coat, so he doesn't stay wet for very long. Um, but I, I don't do well with cold and I don't like being wet. So <laughs> I will try to spend some time outside by the door as it's opening and closing as people are coming in and out so that Zeus can understand. I mean, we gotta hurry when we get in the door. So I want him to be aware that the door opens and it's okay to go in. Uh, I'm not gonna grab a shopping cart. I'm going to leave that distraction for another time or later in the day. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm going to try and find a quiet corner with him and just get him to sit and gain his eye contact. So that's my biggest point right now is just getting his focus, getting his eye contact and exposing him to the new distractions that we're going to see. So automatic door is one of them, I know for sure. He's going to be around people pushing carts, um, people walking around, new smells, new items. These are all distractions that I need to take into account and I'm going to be paying attention to Zeus's body language and see how he's doing before I move on to the next stages. Which I'm not really sure yet how this is going to go because I haven't trained a dog indoors yet. This is a first for me too. So as a trainer, I'm learning. Today's a learning day. So let's dive in. Let's get our leashes on, get all prepped and head towards the door. Okay, so I have my training pouch. I cooked him a pork chop and there's some kibble mixed in there. And I have his new Kong trainer's leash here that is attached to me. And I also have his purple Kong leash, this one right here, just to have in my other hand for double security. And I can also tug on him a little easier than this red one where it has a little bit of a bungee cord, just in case things go south and he goes to lunge at somebody or someone approaches unexpectedly, then I have a way to hold him a little more securely. So first I am letting him relieve himself before we go into the store. That way it'll minimize the amount of pee messes he might potentially make if he picks up other dog smells. All right, so here we are by the entrance. Uh, the doors are opening and closing. People are coming in and out. Uh, vehicles are driving by, getting his attention. And I'm just getting him to stand here with me as I feed him treats every time he looks at me for eye contact. And I keep trying to get him to sit next to me. Now he did sit once, but he keeps standing back up when there's a new noise or vehicles driving by, which are making him anxious. So I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit until I can get a lot more of his attention. So once these things start to become normal, I will have his attention. Now people are approaching, so I gotta pull some treats out. Good boy, Zeus, yes. Can you sit? Show him a treat, sit, sit. Good boy, yes. Stay, stay. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. All right, Zeus is doing really well by the entrance here. He's calmed himself down a little bit. He's looking around. I think he is curious to go inside. You can hear him whimpering a little bit. <laughs> He's like, I wanna go see what's inside those doors. So let's give this a go. Let's see if we can make our way inside. Um, this is a little tricky for me because I can't feed him a treat while I have 
my phone and my hand up the leash, so I'm gonna try and hold on to the leash like this. Actually, I need to wrap this purple one around my thumb like this so I can grab it a little better. This makes it a little more challenging. And I'm gonna pull some treats out and feeding him from my opposite hand, which usually I feed from my left. So a couple different changes here too. Like a, a giant schnauzer. Stay for it. Nothing you can do to make me feel like him. I can't even imagine. And what's your cute name? Zeus. This is Zeus. You are so Can I say hi, Zeus? Touch. Touch. Oh. Sit. Uh, he's a year old. Okay. Yeah, he's still a puppy. I wasn't sure. I was like, I don't know. I think it's a service they get, dog. They get, yeah, he, his training today is a little mixed because I'm getting him used to being around people. That's the nice thing with Home Depot is it's a little bit more people. He has to get used to people coming up to us. Okay. Um, but yeah, I put the service training that way. You don't get a bunch of kids that just run up <laughs> unexpectedly, right? It can crowd pretty quickly. Zeus, sit. What? He has such long eyebrows. Yes, that's the giant schnauzer trait. Sit. Good boy. The Wait. long beard and the long that's eyebrows. Like <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so a couple distractions just happened. There is a, a gentleman that had you, good boy. A gentleman that had two rats on his shoulder and Zeus didn't react. He did fantastic. Um, he's doing really well listening to me outdoors, even though there's a couple of new distractions that are gaining his attention, but he's able to refocus back to me. I currently have him sitting between my legs and we're going to work our way indoors now. Oh, I do hear another dog in the parking lot that just barked. That got Zeus's attention. So let's see how this goes. Listen to me, okay? Look at me. Zeus. You hear the doggy barking, don't you? Look at me. Yes. Okay, you ready? Okay, let's go. You walk with me. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Stay. Stay with me. Stay back. Good boy. All right, I got to go through this first door. Okay, first. Zeus, look at me. Look at me. Zeus. I'm gonna take him back outside. I give him a little taste of what it smells like. Let's go. Let's go. Look at me. Look at me. And I think he might have just lifted his leg right on that pole as we were walking out. So I do have to wet wipe that when we go in. Zeus, look at me. Sit. So I might have to put my phone away when I go in because I need my other hand to feed him the treats. I'm not able to keep him by my side and behind me. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of training in there, ease my way inside, get his attention before we go in. I'm going to go Zeus back. i got to go clean up his mess. You can tell he's tugging now. Yes. Good boy. Look at me. Yes. Wait. Wait. Look at me. All right, so we went in the doors, we came out, now I'm gonna go back in and clean up the mess. And before we walk through the second set of doors, I need to get him to stop pulling me. See how he's picking up some smells from people? So we need to ease our way into that, especially where he keeps wanting to mark his territory. I feel like these wet wipes are really going to come in handy today. So let's go. Leave it. Yeah, he smells something really strong. All right, so after several people coming up to us, it created a huge distraction, but I lost connection with Zeus. He started sniffing out all the smells instead of gaining his focus. Um, so now I'm just pacing back and forth with Zeus on his leash so that he knows that he needs to walk in my direction. Zeus, let's go. And that's to regain connection that has been broken before I go back into the store. It's very important to make sure you have your dog's connection at all times because a service dog needs to be paying attention to you. 
especially when they have a job to perform or pay attention to something that you need them to assist in. So let's go. So I'm just gonna pace back and forth, get his connection and do this for a little bit until I feel confident that he is uh, looking at me and I have his focus. Okay, so we have made it into the main doors and he is full of distractions right now. There's a lot of people walking around. There's a lot of alarms sounding and I can tell he's trying to crawl away from me every so often. He's testing what he can get away with. So I'm just gonna hang tight, get him used to the surroundings and the smells and um, we'll find a nice quiet aisle shortly. He's doing a little, little belly scratch. All right, Zeus, let's go. So I'm just gonna go a little back and forth here at the entrance with him to gain his focus. Okay, so I have found a quiet aisle. I'm actually directly in front of the entrance. I want to hang tight a little closer to the entrance just in case he regresses and I lose focus. Then we're going to go back outside and start back from square one to get his focus. So I'm just going up and down the aisle right now. So let's go. Um, he gets distracted every time someone walks by and pays attention to him and I lose that direct focus. So I keep finding myself having to <laughs> pace back and forth again until he looks at me. So I'm gonna do this up and down this aisle for a little bit, find another aisle and gradually work our way towards people. I do know there's another lady that has a German Shepherd in here. I saw him lunge at a customer when she was entering the store. I know he's not as well behaved around other people, so I'm gonna try and stay clear of that other dog if we do come in contact with them. Zeus did really well. He didn't bark at the other dog when the other bark dog was barking at somebody. Um, Zeus stayed by my side. So I'm not too worried about Zeus lunging at the other dog. I just don't want to aggravate the other dog <laughs> and the handler that's trying to possibly train her dog in the store. I'm not sure what, what her purpose is, but um, just try and keep them away from each other. Yes, good boy. Hey, I found a way, let's go. So he did pretty good. Let's try another aisle and start working our way towards different things. Okay, so a little update. He's doing really well. Um, there's distractions of other people that we've come across. He ignored them, kept on walking. I'm actually starting to get a little lightheaded. It might be from the snow in here or I need to grab something to eat. So I'm going to use Bray, uh, Zeus to um, brace. So I'm going to get him used to me laying on top of him to relieve a little bit of my pressure so that I can get a little recharge. So that is what I call my recharge. I ask him to brace and I lay my body over top of um, his upper shoulders where he has a lot more balance strength and he stays there while I relax a little bit and um, regain a little bit of my energy. So Zeus is calming down a lot. He's starting to get used to the store. 
Um, I'm definitely going to have to come in here several times because I do notice that he struggles staying at the perfect heel of where I want him. I have to continuously uh, go back and forth with him with the let's go command and change directions to regain a little bit of his positioning. But honestly, for his first day in a Home Depot, he's doing really, really amazing considering the amount of distractions and sounds there's been while we've been training. He's doing really well. So I think he's starting to get a little tired. We've been at this for about an hour now. I have oh, probably a quarter left to my bag than when we first started with. <laughs> he's like, you guys give me some treats. Yes, good boy. Uh, he just lay down because I was standing in the same spot for quite some time and I'm pretty sure he's starting to get a little exhausted. But I'm gonna push him a little further, finish his little bag of food and maybe start going into aisles where there's some people. Zeus up! Good boy. Yes, you good boy. Are you ready to start going into where there's people? Are you ready for that? You have to be a good boy. Now I am going to try and film this, so let me just prep my handles here. Look at me. Yes, good boy. try to get ahead of me. Zeus, leave it. And he's a little curious with new smells. Wait. Good boy. Zeus, let's go. But he's obeying pretty quickly. He's starting to listen to me a little more and pay attention. Yes, good boy. Um, lots of noises, lots of people. Someone's pushing a trolley. A little distracted by the noise right now. Zeus, look at me. Zeus, let's go. So when he does get distracted, I regain his focus by changing directions and getting him to follow me. Let's go. So same with that. There's some noise up there. Zeus, let's go. Zeus, wait. Look at me. Yes, good boy. So that was really good progress. Someone walked by us and I was able to get him to look at me and break focus off of that other person. So this is great, great progress. So let's go. Leave it. All right, so we are all done inside Home Depot. I noticed that Zeus started sniffing out a lot of things on the floor and some pillars where other pets had possibly peed indoors. Um, so I rushed him outside, I called the quits, and I brought him to some grass to pee because I knew he had to go and I did not want him marking territory indoors when his bladder was full. Um, he did so great. We stopped and we talked to a few people and he laid down, didn't move. Someone else had a dog in there, which he was a little whimpery because he wanted to say hi to the dog, but uh, he wasn't allowed to. <laughs> Um, but he did so good. I'm really proud of him for his first day inside of a store. One thing that I will say and acknowledge is that he struggled with staying by my side a little bit behind me. He did um, continuously try to pull at first. Um, I think that's just going to be a routine. I'm going to have to continuously take him into places and set that expectation of where I want him so his placement 
which he knows. He just gets a little distracted with all the different smells and new things. Um, so I'm just going to have to be consistent and focus on that, be mindful of that, and um, keep rewarding him when I do get that focus and placement of where I want him. You are such a good boy. You did so good. You just get a little too excited. You forget your job. Something tickle your foot. I saw that little hop. Oh, look like a little bench. All right, take a little, oh, it's wet. I don't want to sit on that. All right, you get your pee out. We're going to go home. So that being said, I hope that this video gave a little bit of a realistic expectation of your day one going indoors. As you've seen in my pre previous videos, I didn't just go straight into an indoor location and expect his full focus. Um, he did have to learn some commands for him to obey um, for such a high distraction area. Um, that does need some more work, but I mean, he's only a little over a year old, so I can't have too high of expectations at the same time. He's still a puppy. Uh, but super great progress. I wasn't embarrassed to take him in there. Part of me at first was a little worrisome of if he was going to pee on everything in there and mark his territory, but he didn't. Um, but I was aware towards the end that he did have to pee because his personality changed a little bit, um, starting to smell a lot more things. And I did notice when he's got a poop, he's got a little bulge underneath his bum hole. <laughs> And so I'm pretty sure he needs to have a bowel movement as well. So it was a good time to quit. It was over an hour, which is really long training day. Um, otherwise, he did so well. So hopefully this video helped you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell so that you see my new videos being posted. All right. Thanks so much. You just want to say bye-bye? Do you want to say bye-bye to everybody? Yes, you're so handsome. You did so good. We're all so proud of you. Yes, we're so proud of you. You're a good boy.